What's up everybody? My name is Brianna Rudder and I'm back with a spectacular look. I'm going to show you how to achieve crochet braids on your own hair. We're going to start off with our crochet braiding hair and this is from the brand Lulu Tress. The hair is already pre-looped and the color is number two and the length is 18 inches. So this is some of the styles you can achieve and this is how the hair looks out the package. We're going to start off with some scissors, a comb, and we're going to go ahead and begin parting our hair to do our braids. As you can see here, I'm pointing to one braid on one side and then a space on the other just to show you that you're going to make sure that you start off with two braids that are going to surround your part. Because I want a middle part for this crochet hairstyle, I'm going to need to braid two braids with my part in the middle. If you wanted a left part or a right side part, just part your hair accordingly. Now I'm going to take a little bit of braiding hair and prep it in my hands as you can see here. This is how I always prep my braiding hair for cornrow braids, box braids, or any type of braided look because each three legs are equal and it makes for very easy gripping. Now when you're braiding your hair, the one thing you want to do to make sure that your crochet braids look natural is you want to lean slightly to the left side for your left braid and slightly to the right side for your left braid. That way you have a little bit more scalp and hair showing in the middle when you actually add your crochet. If your braids are braided very close together, it's going to cause your part to not look very natural. If you want that natural looking crochet install, make sure your first two braids that are next to your part are bigger and make sure each braid leans either to the right or to the left so it can create more space in the center. Just so you know, you don't have to use braiding hair if you don't want to, but this significantly helps your hair if your hair has a tendency to mat at the roots because you may be wearing these crochet braids for a while and you don't wanna have matted roots because that makes it very difficult to remove your braids. So braiding hair definitely helps a lot. So as you can see, we have two braids on the side and here are my inner braids that are going to be on both sides sides of my head. I have one braid going alongside my edges on both sides, making sure I'm braiding slightly away from my hairline so that the beginning or the front of my style will look very natural. Now for my last braid as I'm braiding, I made sure to hook in that actual bordered braid that's on my edges so that way you can have a slight curve around my ear as you can see here. Once you finish braiding your braids in the front, you're then going to begin braiding in the back. And as you can see here, you actually want to snake your braid pattern. This is literally my universal crochet braid pattern that I like to do for mostly all crochet styles because it helps the back to lay very flat without having that weird hump where all the braids gather to the back of your neck. I hate those types of crochet installs. So it's very smart for you to actually zigzag or snake your braid pattern going from left to right, right to left, so that way you have single row of braids going all the way through the back of your head. This prevents your hair from bunching at the nape of your neck, which could cause your crochet braids to feel too tight and it could get kind of sweaty back there and not feel as flat. So this makes the back of your style very flat and it helps the braids to gather where it actually matters, which is more so at the top of your head. So you're going to see that in a little bit as I show you how to anchor the ends of your braids. So you're just going to loop that braid that was sticking out on the side of your head into this braid that's at the back of your head so that you can continue to braid very flat braids going all the way up the top. So this is how it looks so far. You're going to continue to part straight parts and braid all the way up and you're going to cross these two braids as you see here and loop them throughout your braid pattern with a latch hook. So you're going to make sure you evenly distribute the feel or the size of the braid by looping through various areas on your crochet braid pattern so that you don't have too much weight in any areas of your head. But it actually asks for a very nice touch when wearing curly crochet to keep a little bit of bulk at the very top of your head as you can see right there. So now we're going to go ahead and install the hair ladies now that our braid pattern is complete. And as you can see, I already did one row with the double knotting method. As you can tell, it looks very natural and very seamless with just one row. So now I'm going to show you how you want to prepare your hair. You're just going to grab one of the ringlets, pull it through. You're going to open it up and you're going to pull both legs through twice. So I'm going to put it in and then wrap it around again. And then I'm just going to open up both twists to tighten it. You're going to do this through out your entire head because this gives the best security with doing your crochet style. Now this pattern is not going to be done at your hairline or at your part. We're going to do a totally different technique so I need you to keep your eyes peeled for that. 
When you're crocheting your braiding hair at the back of your head, you don't want it to be too thick because it will make your neck hot. So ladies, what I'm gonna need you to do is raise your hand in the comment section if you were a victim of hot necks because of some crochet braids, okay? This is how you end it. What you want to do is make sure you space your ringlets apart in the back. Guess what? No one is gonna see the back of your head, so if you have a little bit of space in between your ringlets, that's okay, because you're gonna have so much hair covering it anyway, and you don't want so much hair on your neck. Now, I know I have a lot of new viewers who love to watch my videos, so if you've never commented on any of my videos before, show your girl some love for the first time, and let me know what you think of this technique and hairstyle so far. So you're just going to continue working all the way through both areas or both sides of your head, making sure you space each ringlet about a fingernail length apart. So I would say anywhere from about half an inch to a quarter inch apart. You don't want it super gappy in the back, but you don't need it full. Ladies, trust me. This is one of the best kept secrets when it comes to the best crochet installs is that the back of your hair needs to be a little bit spacey so it's not super full and super hot on your neck. So as you can see so far, this is how the back looks. It's not super close together, but because the hair is curly, it definitely makes up for fullness. So now I'm gonna show you how to actually add the hair in the front. You want to make sure you twirl your hand, but only grab one ringlet and then put that ringlet back through again. This double secures your knot. This is a single strand knot that's going to be in the front of your head. So that way your curly pieces will lay a lot flatter and you won't see that classic bump that you normally see when doing crochet knots. You're going to turn your hand around and through. You're gonna pull one ringlet through and that same ringlet, you're gonna pull it through one more time and you're going to create a knot as you see here. Now, if you only pull the ringlet through once, sometimes it can actually slip out of your style. It mostly depends on how kinky textured or how also curly the actual crochet hair is. The curlier and kinkier the crochet hair is, the less looping and knotting and things like that you have to do to keep it secure to your braid pattern. This hair is pretty silky to touch. So there were moments where I would loop it through three times, one strand, or I would loop it through twice based on how secure it felt. Now we're not trying to make this so tight that we're pulling up our braid. We just want to have that very nice secured grip knowing that it actually won't slip out of our braid pattern. You're going to do this going all the way up and then you're going to do the same thing on the opposite side as well. And I'm going to show you a different technique that you can do around your part to make sure it looks very natural. So just make sure that when you're near your hairline, you're a little bit closer to each other as far as the actual individual pieces go, instead of how you were near the back. Now don't worry if you see any small gaps, it's definitely going to fill in. And so far, this is how three packages look. And I actually used four packages of the Lulu Tress crochet hair to do the style. Now when you're filling in these areas of your braids, make sure that it's a little closer together because the best crochet styles look mostly full in the front, medium kind of full in the middle, and a little lower full or actually less density in the back. So I hope I wasn't confusing you. You want it more full in the front and less full in the back. Now as you can see, there's a small gap there because I had braids going in different directions. Once you fill it in, you're gonna take your crochet hook or your latch hook and you're gonna go through multiple actual crochet knots. So that way you can close in or tighten that gap as you can see here that way it's very seamless so now we're on to the part now remember what I told you earlier when you're braiding your two braids that are away from your part they have to have slack so my right braid is leaning slightly to the right and the left is slightly to the left so that way I'm creating more space in the middle of my part being that this hair is curly it's going to look a lot closer together but if your braids are a little bit more spread away from each other it's going to make your part look extremely natural so I need y'all to give me a big thumbs up if that tip is going to help you improve your crochet style because I know sometimes when I see crochets it's hard to see the part that's what you want to do to make sure that your part looks neat 
Now, when you're at the top of your head, you can actually alternate both methods because this is going to give you your most natural look. You wanna do a single knotted technique, which is called the invisible knot technique, where you pull one strand through your knot. And you're also going to do the double knot technique where you pull both strands through your knot twice. Now, check this out. This is a little hack I got for y'all. You know, a little hacky hack. So what you want to do is you want to randomly grab very small pieces of your crochet hair and go throughout the edges of your hairline, making sure to do a double knot. So you're going to pull both strands through your knotted or through your open area, and you're gonna twirl it through twice so it's secure, and then you just tie open or open up the actual curl, and look at this. So I'ma need you to give your girl a thumbs up if you love these hacks that I'm dropping for y'all, and let me know if you wanna see other cool techniques when it comes to crochet hairstyles. Now, I know this is super random, but I actually wanted to ask y'all to comment below the answer to this question. What do you think the purpose of life is? And what do you think your purpose here on earth is? Let me know down below. And now we're gonna jump into trimming the ends of our hair with some scissors. Now, what I don't need y'all to do is get scissor happy. I need you to keep all 18 inches of your hair or 24 inches or whatever you rock it. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lightly trim the ends so that way we can tie in the look all together, making this look extremely seamless and natural looking near the ends. And for this hair, you don't need any mousse, you don't need any hairspray or anything like that. So ladies, this is the finished look to my crochet hairstyle. And you can definitely achieve this for beginners because this is super easy to do. And by the way, if y'all want more tutorials, just let me know down below and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye bye.